Well, I've been asked by one of my subscribers to do a street light video, and uh, I'm going through a couple of LED street lights and maybe some sodiums. Just got this one plugged in. Um, the camera takes the brightness off that thing is quite bright actually, and uh, got another L22 and got them here connected up to a check meter here, so you can see the loading is very light, uh, 11 watts I think, or 22 watts, so the meter is hardly moving. So um, I'll show you how to connect these up and have a look inside what parts are in these uh, devices. On this particular one I've put the blanking cap in there, that's a uh, bridge out for the photocell. Normally uh, one of these type Zodian photocells that get plugged in there. I've got a cray foot connection, so for different lux settings this one is uh, 35, that one is a 70 lux. So they get plugged in the other side, and uh, yeah, I'm going to take this uh, cover off here, so you can have a look in here. And let's see if we can make this thing work, or not. So we've got the LED chip, uh, there's a regulated power supply in here. I've got more of these loose power supplies, and uh, show you what's in it and then we got uh, fuses so the cables it's usually stamped in here live earth neutral and the wires go from there there's a uh, surge diverter go to the photocell option these lights have a dimming option as well but um, it depends um, what uh, things they put in here normally it's a cray foot but these other Bars color terminals here are for um, dimming options, which is uh, not, not always enabled. And there's a special photo cell for that, I'll show you which one it is. That is this photo cell, and I think I made a video on this in an, a while ago. And I've got the extra contacts here for dimming options as requested in a remote switching instead of through the pilot system or through the photocell itself so yeah that's uh, available and i'll probably put a card link on this particular video so i bought a wire through here and a bit hard to do with one hand so i'm gonna put the camera down i'm gonna get these uh, wires connected to this lamp and uh, stand by so i got the wires connected and now i have to populate a photocell otherwise the light wouldn't work so flip this over uh, lid on here for now. Again, it's hard to do with one hand, but try to do my best. Uh, photo sellers here. Put the standard photo cell on here. The Zodian. Hopefully, it's in. Okay, it's plugged in, and we're gonna connect this device up to the mains and see if it works. I haven't tested this lamp, so it's a surprise for me too if it works or not. Stand by, we'll get the lead here in position, get the plug ready. And it works. It will switch out because the photocell will switch off shortly, I guess. The meter runs a bit faster now, so uh, we can see that spin here. And we'll wait till the photo cell switches off of this particular device. It's a 35 lux, so it's overcast at the moment. It may stay on for a wee while. I also want to check this other device here and see if it all works. And I'll make plug in a sodium for entertainment purposes. So that took about 25 seconds for the photo cell to activate. Uh, if you cover it up, it should switch back on again. So I'll probably cut that uh, 25 waiting time out of the video. Well, I've opened up the other lamp. I'll see it. Okay, I'm, I may have marked it on there, so it might be working this one. This is also a bin find, and they're throwing a lot of street lights away. Don't know why. Again, you've got a fuse um, connector block here, some inline connectors. Here's a proper active neutral and earth uh, surge diverter and it goes through a Philips power supply which is a controlled uh, device 
um, I'm going to put a lead on this one and see if this works. I haven't looked at it. Um, the photocell also has a dimming option, so it's a standard photocell as populated in here. So uh, details. This is a Silvana. I'll try to zoom into the nameplate. So I've pre-wired this device and it's populated with a uh, photo cell, so we're going to plug it in and see if it works. Uh, let's get this device here. And it works. I'll see the glow on the other side. It's important to short it out. Oh, oh nice. Something popped. Uh, we just unplugged that. That's probably the fuse gone. One of the wires in the bed. Yeah, they put it on camera. Stand by. Unplug safety first. <laughs> it wasn't too smart for me. Something must have shorted out in here. Something smells. Maybe one of these wires. Oh, hang on. A couple of wires here. Must have popped out somewhere, I can't see where. Something short of here. Ah, there we go. This wire got crushed, and that's a 220 240 volt wire, so that may have taken out a fuse that got crushed on the lid. Um, I'll check the fuse and uh, see if it still works. Okay, test the meter. So the fuse has popped. No problem, I have heaps of spare fuses here. I've got another fiver. There are different fuse carriers on these, so that's a long one. Let's stick that one in, see if it works. Okay, we try that again, I'll keep the camera on there. And I'll plug this device in and I'll close the lid again and see if we get more smoke. The light is working. I'll put the black wire away, so we'll close this up carefully, and let's hope it works. Ah, the photo cell. Shit. When you cover the photo cell, um, it's a problem when you do these. Uh, this one hand recordings are quite hard to do sometimes, so I'll flip this thing over if I can. That fucking hell doesn't want to move. That's a catch. Stand by. A flower pot over the photo cell and see if it clicks back on. There we go, that's pretty good. Quick response. Photo cell uncovered. And it should switch back off again. So I need to remedy that piece of wire, put a bit of uh, PVC covering over that. It may stay on actually. Um, that one uses a bit more power. Let's have a look at the meter. There we go, the light has gone off again. and. I'll cover it up here and see the response. Pretty quick response on this device here. So it's dark and it goes pretty quick. I've got a very moldy uh, B2224. Um, that's one of my favorite models. Um, Sylvania B2224. I use a couple on the house on my deck. So I'm going to plug this thing in. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're going to plug the device in see what happens. Well, there's ignition in there, that's good, something is working, hopefully. It hasn't blown up. Let it warm up slowly and see what the results are. Hmm, no, not much, not much response there. It flicker briefly and then uh, that's it for you. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, it is actually working. It's starting to glow slowly there. There we go. It requires the brightness. I'll let it go. Need to have my dinner first and then we'll resume. Stand by. Just working on your video at the moment. Za chat tech in Z. Uh, the sodium has well and truly warmed up. Compared with this LED, you get a bit of the frame wall on these. Um, as you can see, the sodium uses a lot more power. 
there's about a 50 or 70 watt bulb in there I will get a close-up for you also uh, on a start on the filament or the gas tube on a uh, sodium I'm gonna de-energize this device and um, have a look on the inside Unplug safety first. It's an old unit, so you never know. I know it's the list, but it doesn't mean it's safe. I don't know how good the condition is of this device. So here we got the category. This is a common uh, suburbia street light in New Zealand, and there'll be thousands of these being thrown out at the moment, which is a big shame. So power comes in through this old bit of TPS. Active goes through the connector. I need to replace that into the ballast uh, Red wire out of the ballast into the igniter. This is quite an old igniter, but it works still works uh, Blue goes to the neutral uh, The brown one Brown one is in and then we've got the other wire there, the white one I think. The white one goes to the bulb here Goes into the bulb and I can't get the glass lens off, but I got another one of these and I will have a look inside. Stand by. This unit has been modified. I bridged out uh, uh, the igniter and it got a bulb in there. It got an internal ballast, Phillips. Son. Well, that means obviously inside, and you can actually see there's like a starter in here. I'm going to plug this thing in and see if it works. Okay, probably see a reddish pinkish glow at the bottom. Plug in. Started working. And we let this come on to brightness. I prefer clear bulbs because you can actually see what happens inside. Takes really well. Nice peach, orange, pinkish. And the load. You ran the version, yeah, you got this sitting next to the white right LED orange bulb. I'll put a capsule over it, the lens, the diffuser. I like these diffusers, they look quite good. Really cool. Uh, we've got another lamp. I'm going to test it on our two, see if it works. Stand by. So this lamp is the internal igniter still works. Look at the condition of the ballast, but it still works, not even warm. They just have cut the wires out from the ballast and hardwired from the ballast straight into the light fitting. Active and neutral, and then the starter will deal with it uh, inside to create an inductive flux around the ballast to get the light going. Okay, I'm gonna go to Suburban, plug that in. There we go, that's got internal ballast to that one for some reason. Well, that is required, uh, required temperature, and then it should be going as well. Oh, there's a white bulb in there. No, that's not. Oh, nice green blue colors. Nice, nice. Getting ready. So the layout in this fitting always has been like no igniter, so they have uh, internal igniter in the lamps, but uh, this is just a loose igniter. Could be easily uh, attached in here somewhere, but um, yeah, fittings are fitted with igniters or not. Uh, got it the wrong way around, I haven't got my glasses on. So there's a diagram in here. So that just got the hokey pokey in there, which creates a spark. 
and uh, triggers the device. Here I've got a lamp, it hasn't got the casing, the outer shell is broken off it. Um, get it here, get back up, better underground. So you can see this is the actual arc tube. There's a getter pill in here, uh, which normally ignites when the vacuum is damaged. Although I don't know, this one doesn't look like it is triggered. Don't know, it does something. Get or get put in vacuum bulbs as well for creating a final. Uh, uh, we may remove the rest of the air, I think, something like that. Okay, I'll leave this video like this for now and uh, hope you can uh, have learned something from it. Cheers! Beautiful uh, sunset tonight. Just waiting for my B triple two fours to strike. So look here. Numero one and numero two. Now we're coming on shortly. Okay, about five minutes later, the photocell has initiated the devices, and the B triple two fours are on for the night duty. I got the photocell device sitting here. It's one of those cells with an indicator pilot light in here. The photocell got a pulsing light in it as well. And that controls the device.